so the, the serpent has a seed. There are people. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. There are people that are of their father. That's what Jesus meant when he said, you are of your father, the devil. They had the DNA. Oh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying to y'all. They had his blood. Are y'all there? Now, I'm going to show y'all how this is true. You remember when, how did Mary get pregnant? Uh, the spirit, a spirit, spirit came upon her. Conceived. If a spirit can come upon her, then angels are spirits. That's how they were able to do it. Are y'all there? Salvation is a lot different than what we think, y'all. And it's going as as knowledge increases, why do you think this whole push towards genetics, splicing into the genes, and say, man, what do you think that is? Do you think that's new? That's not new. Let me go out, out, outside here and tell you about the book of Enoch real quick. Enoch talks about these angels. He calls about 12 of them by name, the main ones that perpetrated this thing against man. He talks about an angel that, uh, that taught men how to, um, how to mix uh, genetic code or how to mix the animals. That's why when, if you look at the old hieroglyphs of Egypt and the Sumerians, you see uh, animals with three heads and four wings and with the body of a lion. And we think that's, they was imagining that, but that's not what happened. The Bible says even the animals turned violent. They had actually begun, listen, what was the whole purpose, y'all, to mess up the bloodline? So that the woman could not bear a pure seed that would crush the head of the serpent. So these fallen angels, not only were they having sex with women, but they was mixing the seed with animal. This is why in Leviticus, God says, don't sleep with an animal. Don't have sex with a beast. It's an abomination. He said, I'll destroy you over that. Don't lie with a man as you lie with a woman. Because seed going in a man will mutate into something else but the fallen angels were so wicked that they taught men how to mess with the genetic code this is where we think it's a gap with the dinosaur there's no gap the dinosaurs was right there in Genesis 6 when these fallen angels start teaching their offspring how to mess with the code that's why the earth was continually violent. Say, man, and that's when God, I, I got a whole lot more to show y'all on this. But that's why God said, I got to kill everything. Did you notice that if the, if the animal was good, why did he not spare the animals? There were animals, there were certain animals that died. Who were those animals? Those were the ones that Noah couldn't walk up to and tell them come in the ark. Think about that. So when we see pterodactyls and all that type of stuff, these giant beasts, say, man, that they say it's billions of years old. It ain't billions, it's 6,000 years. Say, man. Well, what about archaeology? They, don't y'all know they're all for science? Science has been disproven. The word is still being, the word is still right. That's why they banning the Bible, because the word is true. We done already debunked the evolution theory. It wouldn't, it, it, come on, I ain't got, I'm, I'm going to go there in another teaching. Y'all there? So what God did was he said, I, re, I repent that I made man. Now remember, it seemed like something's missing in Genesis 6. Like what, why, why we go from there to that? Because what we see is, come on, what we're seeing is, y'all ready? Is that men got wicked and it's almost as if the sons of God ain't got nothing to do with this. It's like there's this tall people walking around doing evil stuff. We don't know that the, the, the giant, 
the giants are offspring of the sons of, of the Nephilim. These are the people the children of Israel had to fight. Let me show y'all. Come on, say paradigm shift. Remember when Moses sent the 12 spies into the land of Canaan that God said was the children of Israel, but there were people living there. The spies came back and said, there are giants living there who eat. They eat cannibals. They eat people. So the spies came back and two of them said, uh, 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 10 of them said, we are like grasshoppers. They really meant it. Now we teach that. They just had unbelief. That's, God, no, they saw giants. We all would have said the same thing. That was real giant. Why do I know? Now, the, now the, this offspring, this race, have figured out how to make stuff bigger because the grapes that they took off the vine, two men had to carry one thing of grapes on a pole. They were giant grapes. Study your Bible, man. You remember when the Bible says this is a land flowing? With milk and honey, that means everything's gigantic. So now do you see why when God said, I'm going to give you the land, but kill everything in it? Now, I used to think, God, that's hard. Why would you tell, why would you kill the people? I mean, I know they might have not been, know you, but, but God was saying, no, no, no. Remember, I told y'all that there was, there was these, these Nephilim was before the flood and after. These are the Anakites, the Raphim, the Raphim. These are the, one, the ice that lived in the land of Canaan. The Philistines were, giant, were the, was offspring of the Nephilim, which is where modern, modern Palestine is right now. Come on. These are the people that they had to fight. Do you not see that all throughout David's life, he kept killing giants? Come on, y'all. It wasn't just Goliath. They kept showing up. Goliath had five brothers that were giants. That's why he had five rocks. Come on, y'all. Ain't you ever thought why he had five rocks? Because had, Goliath had five brothers that Joab, Shimshi, Jonathan killed some of them. Because that, 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 that demonic bloodline was still existing in God's people's land. Is this too, it's too much. I, I done popped y'all. I matrix y'all, didn't I? Popped y'all mind. Listen to this. Okay, I'm going to get done here. There, were, there we saw the Nephilim, the descendants of Anak, uh, uh, came from the giants. And we were like grasshoppers in, their own, in our own sight. Now, you know, we tore it up as preachers. They had no faith. Like, grass, you ain't no good. You know, come on, we tear that up. I tore it up myself. But they really were like grasshoppers. When I show y'all what these giants look like, you'll realize what I'm saying. Uh, in Numbers 13, 33, we always assumed this scripture was an exaggeration, but they saw real giants. In every corner of the globe, there exist legends of giants. This alone, just this one fact needs an answer. See, all over the world, in every land, every continent, they have a story of giants. Say so, amen. Why? Because they all were descendants of the Tower of Babel. Are y'all there? The Tower of Babel had the record of the flood of Noah and why God destroyed the earth. Say so, amen. So what happened after the Tower of Babel when they all split up? Nimrod began to teach on the things that the fallen angels taught men. Like how to mess with the DNA taught men about weaponry. That's why he, because after the fallen angels taught him, violence broke out. They started to kill, kill each other. Nimrod was teaching him, and Nimrod became Baal, God. And his wife was a high priest called Samarimus. And this is the, 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 goddess, the god and goddess that all other cultures worship. They worship her in different names. Come on. The Romans call her Asterisk. The Egyptians called him Osiris and Isis. Horus was their son, which was is Tamar, which is Ishtar, which is where we get the word Easter, which is what the Catholic Church is worshiping. 
the mother child cult, they say it's Mary, it's not Mary, that's Isis or Samarimus or uh, Sybil or in Hindu it's Devika and Krishna. These, this all came, that's why you think they all got the same priest God system? Because they all came from the same place. So that's why when people think this new age is new, they went over to the far east and got some teaching on realize It's the same deception that the Bible spoke about. But men withhold the truth and unrighteousness. So people will believe a lie. Say amen. That's why this stuff ain't new. All this, this, this homosexual revolution ain't new. They was doing it, and they was doing it back in, back then. They were taught it. Say amen. Now the time clock, oh y'all, y'all ready? When God showed up to destroy the earth, he destroyed the earth once and then he destroyed the city. Whenever he showed up to destroy the city, there was something going on. Say amen. So this sin marks judgment coming. Whenever you see this sin in the earth, it marks judgment. It's coming. Say amen. That's why when Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed, they were doing what they were doing in the days of Noah. Jesus said, when I come back, it's going to be just like that. Oh, oh, let, let me, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Remember, Jesus said, I don't have, I'm not going to finish this. I ain't going to do it. Remember, because I got I to catch y'all up. Remember, Jesus said that it'll be just like in the days of Noah. They will be marrying, giving in marriage, feasting and partying. I had a problem with that because I said, Lord, now, the, see, the marrying, we think it's about the marrying, the man and the woman marrying. But in the days of Noah, that's not what they were doing. Because man had been perverted. They were fornicating and they were marrying, but who was marrying? Well, now they had, see, they had messed up marriage. So men were marrying beasts. Men were marrying men. Men were marrying devils. This demon's offspring, y'all want to talk, messing you up. Now, you know that it's not us giving in marriage because they're trying to wipe out us. That's what the gay marriage is all about. It's pushing us closer to a man marrying a dog like he just did. If you mess up the institution of marriage, then, you, then it's the prophecy being fulfilled that they will be getting married. We'll be outlawed. Because the Bible says they'll call wrong right and right wrong. So, so the normal way of us is going to be wrong. That's why they outlawing stuff now. They get, they get offended when they see a, a, a woman and a man married. So they want to pervert the institution. Listen, y'all, why? Because marriage was God's way to keep the race, not the race, but the bloodline pure. Listen, not pure from other races because as long as you're human, you can be together. But pure from this devil DNA. That's what fornication was all about. All boy, pasty. So they ain't talking about outlaw. They ain't talking about us getting married. We've gotten married from beginning to now. Talking about what was happening in Genesis is they were marrying. Now, now if you think about this, think about some of the laws in the book of Leviticus. A man shall not lie with his mother. Think about this. You know, I thought that was strange. Like, God, this is really graphic. Why are you saying that? Now, what, what is he doing? He's trying to get them to realize this is what happened before why I destroyed the race of people. I'm trying to get y'all, I'm telling y'all not to do it. Y'all ready? Now, what happened when the, when, the flood was just, when the flood destroyed the earth? Everything died, physical. Every physical thing died except Noah and his kids. Y'all there? Well, we know we're not natural flesh. We're spirits. The Bible says we are spirit. We live in a body. We possess a soul. So those evil beings, they flesh died. But they spirits didn't. Can you, can you put it all together now? That's why they desire flesh. They knew what it felt like to be in the flesh. They loved it. They destroyed flesh. That's why they destroyed the flesh of men.